because they got two heads and they think with one and it's not the one that's up here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're here for the first time, hey, what's up? Welcome, my name is Zay. As you guys can tell from the title, in today's video, we'll be doing a chit chat, get ready with me, but girls talk edition okay i got some things i got some things to put my girls on about i got some things to let my girls know so if you're interested then keep watching but before we get into the video just go ahead and like this video right now because we look good and secondly if you're not subscribed just join the family join the family okay and now that that's done let's get right into the video hello my beautiful ladies hey 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 so in today's video as i as you guys know we'll be doing a little chit chat get ready with me girls talk edition i feel like we ain't sit and have a chat and some times we back at it okay we're back at it actually let me do my brows real quick y'all know the deal i'm sorry i got y'all excited i should have just came with my brows done but let me do them real quick my collar all twisted then we'll come back for the video please hold and we're back so we're just gonna get right into it i don't feel like getting up to get my hand mirror so we just gonna use this palette that i'm probably not even gonna use today anyway but yeah so let me tell y'all what inspired today's video right so the other day earlier this week probably like three days ago or so my friend who's a guy randomly texts me he's like I want to, I don't want to misquote. So he texts me and he goes, and after this, that's when I'm just going to like paraphrase. Okay. So he's like, do you expect a gift on Valentine's day? We, we ex exchange pleasantries like, hello, blah, 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 whatever the case is. He's like, let me ask you a question. So he's like, do you expect a gift on Valentine's day? On Valentine's day? I'm not talking about like, you know, being showered with love. One in that makes sense, like flowers, the romance, candlelit dinner, balloons on a card, the pagan tree, all of that, boom. But I'm asking about an actual tangible gift. He's like, and he put in quotes, again, I know it would be nice, but do you expect it? Me personally, my answer was yes. And my answer was yes because of all the times where I've had a Valentine, of all the times where I've been celebrated on Valentine's Day, the men who I was with made that a norm. Like that has always <clears throat> that has always been my norm anytime I've celebrated Valentine's Day with a man. Like that has always been my norm. It's, that's all I know. So me personally, yeah, that's what I expect because that's been my reality so i'm like telling him i'm like me personally yeah because basically what i explained to you so he's like oh what kind of gift do you expect and i was like well in the past you know i've gotten bags clothes um like along with like the candy bit with like the candy the bears the balloons the dinners like all of that is cool but again i'm giving him my experience so i'm like there's always just been something tangible past like the memorabilia which is like you know the balloons all that because all that stuff you got to take down break down by the end of the night so i'm like there has always been a tangible gift for me on valentine's day right so i'm like are you trying to decide whether to get a girl a tangible gift he's like well kind of sort of but i'm also trying to understand what the general expectations are because i do think that she's spoiled and high maintenance and out of touch with reality that's where he lost me that's where he lost me so i asked him i'm like is she out of touch with reality or is she out of touch with your reality because if that's what she's used to then that's her reality but if y'all have been a thing for so long and that's not what you've been giving to her and then today she's like oh yeah this is what i want blah 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 then that's different. But I'm like, if that's what she's used to, it's not her fault. And she's not out of touch with reality. I keep putting in my prime. I feel like we gonna be here for some time. I'm like, cause if I come across a man who doesn't celebrate Valentine's Day, like 
I do, then it's not going to change how I want to be celebrated. Like, this is still the way that I like to celebrate this holiday. And this is the things that I expect on this holiday. Because why? That is what I'm used to. That is my reality. So he's like, being out of touch with reality is, you know, being an adult and expecting things that you cannot get yourself. Which I don't agree with to an extent. And I'm not just talking about the celebration of the holiday. Because I know he personally doesn't mind celebrating Valentine's Day. Like, he's not one of those guys who's trying to get out of celebrating the holiday. Like, so, before y'all come from my friend and these comments, he's not one of those guys. Like, he is true and true a lover boy. So, I'm like, true. And I, and I do get that. Like, being out of touch with reality or whatever the case is. Um, I said, but if all of her past dudes had no issue with it it being um getting her things that she cannot get for herself then um she's gonna continue to expect that because again that is her norm and that is her reality um whether she could afford it herself or not because she knows that there has always been someone that's going to do it for her or get it for her whether she can get it for herself or not so i said ultimately wanting something tangible for valentine's day isn't a big ask like whether she's used to it whether she get it for herself whether nobody ever did it for her before I don't think it's a big ask wanting something tangible for Valentine's Day. Something tangible I don't mean Givenchy shark boots. It could mean something like you give somebody a, a Sephora gift card or you buy them a perfume or something like that is a tangible gift. Okay. And I'm like, because all the basic stuff like the balloons, all that, I'm like, all that shit not running you more than a hundred dollars. If we keeping it a buck, like if we're being very honest, unless you get in her the Venus at floor flowers. That all of that is not running you that much bread. I say that to say, that was that's just the backstory. That's what that's what brought me here today. So I say that to say, as women, don't lower your standards because someone who you like isn't willing to meet them, like. And again, I'm not, this is not shade towards my friend or anything. It just really sparked something in my head because there are men who think like that, but along the lines of, I'm not getting her shit. Like, he's just, he's just trying to pick my brain and, you know, get some understanding on the situation. So I get it. But there's really men out there that's like, bitch, I'm not getting you that. That's too much. Like, like what? Valentine's Day, you should get a teddy bear. You should get a pair of flowers and you should be happy. So I say this to say, like, just because you like someone, just because you're interested in someone, just because you're feeling someone, do not change your standards. Do not change your expectations for that person. Because in, in, in the end, you're going to regret it. You're going to regret it all. Like, some men will manipulate. I'm not even going to ju just say men, but some people will manipulate you and trick you into believing that what you want, what you expect is too much or out of touch with reality or not not attainable and it's false it's not true because if you can think it if you can think it and if you can feel that i deserve this and i know it's going to come to me do not let someone run you away from that idea the sky is dead as the limit i feel like it has to do with you know just just believing that you're deserving like you're you're literally deserving of it so it's like i know that this is something that i deserve because this is something because this is what i dish like dish out so no it's not too high of an expectation no it's not out of reach and no it's not you know too big of an ask ultimately what i'm saying is everything is circumstantial so if you're dealing with somebody and he's like he celebrates valentine's day he has no problem celebrating valentine's day and he'll he'll do what he has to do to make you happy that's cool like he's he's trying as long as there's there's genuine effort but if it's on something like and we're just using valentine's day as an example because one it's coming up and two um that's how this that's how this was presented to me but this is just in 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 regards to anything in life right so if you're messing with a guy and you know, like, you, we all have expectations and then we have what we're given. Just because someone doesn't meet your expectation in that moment doesn't mean that they 
aren't capable of meeting of doing so so that's not who i'm talking about those are not the people who i'm talking about actually slightly the people who i'm talking about are the people who try to like humble you or tell you like no i'm not doing that for you or tell you that oh you wishing too high or your expectations are too high especially most certainly if it's something that you're used to if it's something that has been your reality don't let nobody deter you from that because again this is something that i've been used to for example right valentine's day we're just gonna keep using valentine's day for an example valentine's day for me has always been yes the i don't like chocolate so you have one less thing to 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 be able to give me but valentine's day for me has always been being showered with love and things that i that i like or that i need like just showing showing me why you love my ass so much okay being that that's what i'm used to being that 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 has that has always been my reality if i meet a new dude now valentine's day is coming like you know like men are gonna try to pick your brain to see what you expect and women we're also gonna throw um hints and ideas out there so i'm gonna be like oh okay so oh i these shoes are really cute they'll be mad cute if you get them for me for valentine's day or something like that like you know like that's just an example so at least now you know that i'm the type of girl i like gifts i like gifts like so now you know so now you have that idea and not only are you not executing because it's one thing to have an idea and not execute like because we still filling each other out and there's another thing to have an idea no and not execute simply because i'm not doing that for her oh mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. so i say that to say this do not lower your standards or do not change your expectations simply because um the person who you're talking to or the person who you just started dating is not going for it and it's not because they're not going for it because you know they're not capable or you know that they're not going for it because it's a hard no no i'm not giving that to you like oh uh, okay he <laughs> you can go valentine's day is coming do you really not care to celebrate Valentine's Day? Or do you not care to celebrate Valentine's Day because that's how he made you think? Like, did he make you feel like you don't really care to celebrate Valentine's Day because that's what he said? Oh, it's a pagan holiday. Oh, Valentine's Day is every day with me and you. Ooh, if uh, Valentine's Day is every day with you and him, when's the last time he took you out to dinner? Without you asking. Fast. Answer fast. Okay. When's the last time he got you something just because? Be responded fast. You not responded fast enough. When's the last time he bought you flowers? That it wasn't like your birthday or an or apology flowers or when was the last time just because was just because? Okay, ask him these questions. Valentine's Day is coming. And don't get me wrong, right? I'm gonna defend the fellas a little bit on this. I do feel like social media has played a large part in people's expectations. Because don't be that girl that's expecting all these extravagant gifts and your man works a regular nine to it, the economy is hard. He works a regular nine to five, he don't do no illegal shit, and he got bills to pay. Why are you expecting twenty five hundred dollars shark boots? If your man's rent is not even $2,500 and he's stre like stretching to get that paid a month. That's that's being out of touch with, with your reality. Because do your man do that for you for the regular? No. No. It's because you're seeing it online. Oh, A Boogie got Ella this. Or oh, Moneybag got Ari this. Not to say lower your expectations. However, be in touch with your reality. So that's where I'm going to side with him at. Like, be in touch with your reality. My expectations are aligned with my reality. Allow yours to do the same. And now if you are someone who's like, you know, single and choosing to stay single because like you're not meeting someone who's willing to 
meet your expectations and your standards that's fine like and it will get lonely it will definitely get lonely but you have to know not to shift or alter your standards and expectations just because you're lonely like really push through like for real push through because if you know deep down in your heart that what you're expecting and what you want in a partner is attainable do not settle for these people don't settle because when you settle you will always regret it like you will always regret it there are times where we put our standards or boundaries aside or like we put things aside just to give people that chance and we regret it so just hold on a little longer it does get lonely but it's just something so beautiful about enjoying your own company like enjoying what you can do for yourself and once you reach that point it gets real dangerous it gets real dangerous like to the point where you probably might start feeling like yo i'm content with being single forever because i put my happiness in my own hands and i know i cannot let myself down i know i will not let myself down so why lower my guard a little bit to give somebody the possibility of disappointing me try not to have that mindset because it's 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 scary but your discernment is going to be on a hundred so you know when you see something you don't like you're so comfortable with letting it go because hey i've been rocking for so long why am i gonna put up with something that i know i really don't want to put up with all for the sake of having somebody by my side it's not worth it and i really love that now like i don't i can't speak on the past generation because that's not my generation but from the things that i've seen i feel like nowadays women is we're really standing on business like standing on it real hard and i also feel like social media plays a really large role in people thinking that there's more out there than what actually is like if you ask anybody who's who was in a relationship and is like now single and searching they'll tell you like if you are in a healthy relationship your partner may be annoying your partner may be this but y'all better figure it out because why is nothing out there like oh shit oh anyone who's single and dating will literally tell you like bro it's nothing like there's piss in the dating pool mixed with a little bit of caca like if you have a person don't think that oh there's if it's a healthy relationship of course don't think that oh there's more out here she's getting me tight i'm gonna just find somebody else oh he's getting me tight i'm gonna just find somebody else you think that because you see all these people liking your stuff on social media you see all these people sending you heart eyes in your dm telling you you're so beautiful like ain't no longevity in that ain't no longevity in that uh, and that goes for the men too obviously because they got two heads and they think with one and it's not the one that's up here but nonetheless i really genuinely wish love like like pure love and happiness and longevity for all my girls like and i don't feel like it's something that's unattainable like yeah the dating scene is trash but honestly i i feel like y'all know I'm, I'm always going to talk about it but i honestly feel like if you're a person of faith like you go to god and you tell him your desires like you tell him what you want in a partner and you don't deviate from that there is nothing that is unattainable like there's truly nothing that you cannot attain for real like you want your partner to be this 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 one pray for god to prepare you for that partner that you're praying for but two that person is out there that person is out there and i genuinely feel like we as women has have put this um time stamp 
on ourselves which i feel like was forced on us because of our parents and the generation before us like it, it all makes sense but not to say we got all the time in the world because women technically do have a biological time stamp however i genuinely thought i was going to be married with children at the age of 25 I'll be 29 this year. There's no way I was gonna be 25 years old, fully prepared and ready for marriage and children at 25 years old. It's so it's just like we we have plans or we think we have plans, and like I always say, God will laugh at them. I feel like oh child. I feel like we be like making him laugh so hard that his belly hurt like like one of them belly laughs like deep deep belly laughs like when we have plans for ourselves that's how he be laughing at us like girl who told you who told you that was gonna be your reality because it wasn't me shooting for the stars though I see we looking good and we looking good mm -hmm. and last thing I wanted to mention is that Cause like it all ties in you see how like we have like these expectations or we have like i feel like social media plays a large role and sometimes it can distort our brain in ways where we don't even realize so like for example let's say valentine's day coming you got he's a good man savannah you have a good man but again like you was expecting shark boots and your man bought you some ugg rain boots because you don't have no rain boots you don't have no snow boots and if you live in new york city as you can tell it's brick and it's snowing back to back he got you that because he noticed that's something that you was lacking in your closet and you needed it and you wasn't gonna get it yourself and he got them for you why because it's a thoughtful gift and it's something that you need that's how i that's how i see valentine's day gifts they're thoughtful and there's something that you need right so the man ain't get you shark boots. Now you in your group chat blasting him. Oh, he got me Ugg boots. What the F is this? Da, da 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 Along with the dinner, he done decorated a hotel room for you. He done got you bears, flowers, candies. But because you got Ugg boots instead of shark boots, you contemplate and leaving him for a nigga who been in your DM, who be sending you, who be telling you he's ready to send you a thousand dollars on the daily out of touch with reality and at that point is your friends in the group chat egging you on like yeah girl he's wildin ugg boots da, 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 da. or are they holding you accountable like girl that's something that you need keep it a buck he has never gotten you nothing like that before so you know like you know that's not that's not the relationship between you and your man like you know but he's trying he's a good man savannah it's very important to hold to have friends who will yes have your back but also hold you accountable. Because if you my friend and you come in a group chat blasting your man for getting you Ugg boots instead of Javinci Shark boots, I'm gonna ask you what has he ever got you that was over $500? What has he ever gotten you that was over $1,000? Be real with yourself. Just because you see these people getting it online, I'm not saying that you shouldn't internally like want those things for yourself, but are you there yet? Is that your reality yet? Because I'm sure if your man could, he would. And that's what matters. Because there's people who can and they still don't. Be real with yourself. Oh, baby. That is eat ting. So I'm about to add some black liner to my waterline. Now we're going to line our lips. I'm about to tell y'all what I'm using because the girls are always asking. And let me tell y'all right now. So I'm going to go in with this NK lip liner. It is in the shade Plum. So we're going to go in with this and line our lips. And if you know, you know, I am an overline girly. Boom. Perfect. So now we're going to go in with this gloss by Sephora. This is the Sephora Gloss Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Sleek. So then we're just going to put this on the lip. 
to three look how good that looks so now let's take these pins down oh they're already taking themselves down face looks gorgeous oh yeah oh we look we look gorgeous ah we look good i love a great final look yeah i know i love a great final look the curls are sitting the face is eating like do it get any better than this but that is pretty much the end of this video this chit chat get ready with me girls talk edition i hope you guys took something away from this if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up comment down anything below let me know y'all thoughts for real like let me know y'all thoughts for real for real i love you guys so much and i will see you all in my next video Mwah.